Hi everybody, good morning. Welcome to the trade room today. Alright, let's take a look at the euro. The euro dollar tried to make it a run at the 127 area, but once we hit the um, psychological level of 127.30-ish area, market dropped down again, about 80 pips immediately down to the 126.65. Now we're once again above the 127. I believe if the market makes another attempt, let's say to the 127, 30, 50, 30, 40 area, I wouldn't mind taking a sell trade again. If I'm not mistaken, we had some demand for the euro on the back of some uh, positive news out in the equity market. And there are also some concerns uh, from S&P stating that U.S. sovereign credit at AAA could be threatened if the ballooning debt issue in the US is not being taken care of. So saw some bid flowing to the euro dollar as a result of that, but unfortunately it wasn't able to really gather up enough momentum to push its pair upwards. I think when you compare both economies, the European economy and US economy, at least for the time being, traders are pretty much, when you compare both economies, traders are finding the US economy probably being less possible of a default the for the time being. The Whereas the euro economy could face a crisis any time now due to the uh, current condition. US is like a time bomb but it's still quite far away but the European economy is like a grenade it could go off any time. So that's what the market is looking at and in my opinion I believe that if we see above the 127.30 area which we're very close now I wouldn't mind taking a set. Well, actually, you know what? Let's give ourselves a little bit more room. Let's look for around the 127.35. Just see if the market pushes up there. And we'll use about 35 pips of stop loss. So our stop loss will be above the 127.70. And we can see if the market will bounce back and follow the general downtrend, which we have seen in the last 15 days or so. So we'll see if the market will give us that and we'll be able to ride this trade down. I think there's still some ways to go for the euro to drop. But of course the euro has already bounced back at 126 but I don't think the 126 is strong enough. The next time we test it probably we'll break it and drive this pair down maybe to the very minimum 125. If we break that maybe we're going to be looking at 121. So 127.35 will be a good area for us to sell it. It will be five pips away from the high of the day and so that we don't miss the trade by waiting for the absolute high. So if we do five pips away from the high of the day, if we retest the high, we'll definitely pick out this trade. So I'm going to go ahead and issue this trade right now while, we, while we're doing analysis so we don't miss that. Let me go ahead and do that. Sell USD, oh sorry, Euro USD 127.35, SL sell at 127.70. Now let's try to get, I'll probably shoot for about 50 pips of take profit. So if we're getting on 35, I'll get out around 85, 126.85. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, let me make sure, get this thing out of the way. So now it's being sent via SMS. So that's to wake everybody who is still kind of sleepy or not yet uh, listening. So now we got this thing out of the way. Alright, so that's the plan basically for the Euro. We're going to look for the high of the day, but we're going to try to enter maybe 5 pips before that and we're very close to it so if we get it you will be good so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, also basically just do a, a sell limit a limit order All right 127.35 and take profit it's going to be 12685 so that's a limit order and we'll wait for the market to pick it up yeah take the EU order you should have picked up already guys yeah we see it it's being picked up 
All right, guys, we hit our TP on the euro dollar trade, and it's just around the European closing right now. Market will probably stall around this area, so you can close it or move your stop loss to break even, but I don't think we'll see a breakdown. We might, but I think this is probably it for today. If you also got in on a pound dollar, then lucky you, but, you know, without taking too much risk, I think this euro trade is great.